Hey, Aaron McNeil with Horrible Night here with my first Game Curious of 2016, Enter the Gungeon. I saw this game at previous E3s and it looked like the kind of game for me. If you know me, I like these kind of indie titles that really want to make you keep coming back to them over and over again. You just get a lot of longevity out of them. This title was related to Sony's big indie game push. They highlighted it. They're like, look at what we've got. These indie developers are, you know, they're putting out some quality stuff that's like on the same level, if not superior, to some AAA titles. This game was made by a team called Dodge Roll, which is interesting because there's a move in the game where you dodge roll to avoid bullets. The publisher is Devolver Digital. They are one of the best publishers, in my opinion, in the last year or so. They've put out a lot of quirky and well done polished indie games. My hopes and expectations for Enter the Gungeon are that it becomes my Spelunky for 2016, which if you know me, I really love Spelunky. That was an indie title and I put so many hours into it and it really kind of was a turning point for me in that I was playing a lot of AAAs and not so much indies and Spelunky was a real surprise so I hope Enter the Gungeon gets that same kind of attention. Enter the Gungeon really looks like a charming combination of Binding of Isaac and Nuclear Throne. A nice thing about Enter the Gungeon is that it's full of like the silliest guns and items that you can just find it's all randomly or procedurally generated the enemies are goofy there's bullets that are holding guns and shooting bullets at you there's a lot of bullets basically there's a lot of bullets that are trying to kill you as you shoot bullets at them it's it looks cute but that game is hard uh i'm excited to get into it and i'm hoping i'm gonna have a lot of fun i hope you have fun watching me so here i am in the gungeon ready to blast some fools the entrance right in front of me i'm a convict Got my orange jumpsuit on, and I'm ready to do this. Let's let's not hesitate. Let's just go into the dungeon, the gungeon dungeon. <laughs> so it's procedurally generated. Little bullet jumps into the chamber. Boop. <laughs> Keep of the lead lord. I like the effect that I run down there and the door closes behind me. So you start with some real crap. It's not a great gun, but it'll get the job done. Ah, books! So I immediately got hit by a grenade. <laughs> but those things will happen. You don't always know what to expect. I was too busy looking at the book and I got hit real hard, but it only did half a heart of damage. Look, okay, even my, uh... Health is represented in bullets. Heart bullets. Spooky room. Whoa. Whoa. Oh crap. So yeah, tables can get flipped. Real quick. I was like, what's going on? And I My controller's plugged in and it was flipped upside down, apparently moving one of the sticks. It made it a little oh crap. So apparently the convict might go berserk whenever she takes damage. That might be the little red angry face. And there's a fire over there. Kick a table. So the best strategy seems to be to stay on the move and really master the dodge roll. Because dodge roll allows you to actually navigate your way through bullets. So when there's a big spread, you can get around it up. Oh, but in that case, you fire it twice. <laughs> I picked up some armor. Represented by that shield looking bullet up there. Ooh, a chest and an R? Lowercase r, alphabetical. I can look at what that is. The letter R looks like a gun. <laughs> It is rare, but not unheard of, for abstract concepts to take gun form when discussed near the gungeon. 
It is a gun. It's a gun that looks like the letter R. So there's these teleporters. And they allow you to really move around the gungeon a lot faster than walking. Bullet. What the? You say, oh crap. Did the gun talk? Bullet. Oh, it spells bullet. That's funny. Bullets. So there's the boss. I don't want to go in there yet because I haven't explored the entire floor. I'm also at half health now. Bullet. Bullet. Blam, blam, blam. Bullet. Bullet. So the gun. The game's just goofy. Gungeon is a goofy place. Bullet. Bullet. I, mean, I will not disagree that the letter R looks like a gun. Bullet. Coming after me. Bullet. 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 Looks like the letter R gun isn't all that strong, though <laughs> it takes a while. Oh, the ghost! It's a ghost! Bullet, bullet. Bullet, bullet. Bullet, bullet. bullet. I like how he says it in different ways. Bullet, bullet. Bullet, bullet. Okay, so there's a couple of ways to go from here. I'm gonna go up. Bullet. 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 So yeah, bullet, the letter R bullet gun is like a submachine gun. That's used by holding it down. Here's a shop. He really wants my money. Table tech blanks? Not sure what that means. I don't really have enough to buy much of anything, but I'll buy a key. I can open up a chest with that. I kind of value a chest more than I value health, because while this bullet, <laughs> bullet gun, this R gun, is strong, it's bullet. 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 You know, I don't think I could just live on this alone. Bullet. bullet. It's strong over a long period of time because so many bullets actually hit the enemy. Each individual letter is weak. I kinda wanna get a gun that does a lot of damage. Oh boy. These bouncy dudes are a real pain in the ass. Oh, I took that dude. At least I didn't do damage. Bullet. Bullet. So now I kind of value health. <laughs> but here's a chest with a lock on it. Bullet time. Dodge this. What does that mean? This clock holds mystical properties that able to enter slow down time. Okay, that's simple. I don't know if items are one time uses. I've not really gotten into the habit of doing that sort of thing. Oh, it tells me I've dropped something in there. That's pretty cool. So I think I've explored the entire floor. So I can teleport right back to the boss. And these are the trigger twins. Do I have a shotgun on me? Oh yeah, I got the sawed off. Whoa. Bullet. Bullet. This is what happens when you slow down time. Oh, I had to reload. Bullet. 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 Whoa. Bullet. 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 So it looks like the nice thing about items is that they are not necessarily Bullet. use it once and it's gone. Although I did find a med kit in the tutorial and then accidentally used it before I was ready, and then it was gone. Bullet. This clock Bullet. recharges. Bullet. 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 So the hard part about this Bullet. is that that other guy is just kind of off the screen. Bullet. 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 Oh, I don't want it. Oh, crap. Bullet. Bullet. And I have things called blanks that kind of work like grenades. Bullet. But you can use them to get out of a real bind, like a bunch of bullets are coming at you. Bullet. 
And not the letters. Not the word. Oh. Can I survive? <laughs> it's not good to dodge roll away from the bullets. So you don't want to dodge roll in the same trajectory as the bullets coming at you. Bullet. Bullet. Oh crap, that's a little close. I'm running low on bullets. Bullet, bullet, bullet. So I really want to get rid of the guy that I got down weak. Bullet, bullet, bullet. Got him. Unfortunately, that pisses off his brother. Bullet, bullet, bullet. Uh, I gotta reload. Bullet, bullet, bullet. Bullet. Screw the little guys. Bullet, bullet, bullet. I killed one of them inadvertently. Bullet. Oh, ah! <laughs> bullet, bullet. Sounds really close. I'm getting really low on ammo too. Bullet. No, I, he he started blast shooting. Oh my god. That was so close. Maybe I should have valued the health. Killed by shades. So, I didn't make it that far that turn. I'm going to actually return to the breach, which is the kind of overall hub. And I will pick a different character. I like to, the, the hunter. It's the other female character. Darker skin. But she's got a dog. She's got a dog with her. I'm not sure if there's unlockable characters in this. I imagine there might be. Uh, I look forward to unlocking my first character. <laughs> but I do love a, li I love a little doggy. It's a nice little dog. So she starts with a rusty, rusty, trusty revolver. She's kind of like the Western flavored character. I got the big guy. He, as you can see, that almost went really bad. He fires a lot of projectiles, but then there was an explosive barrel. But I was just outside of its blast radius. But he's really slow. He's, oh, oh, oh. Doggy found a key. That's awesome. I got two keys now. Oh, I'm, I'm getting flanked! Dog! I hope you, you need a gun, dog. So you can kick the tables over for defense. You can push them around. <laughs> There's just a lot of real cool design thought put into this game. And like I said, it's very charming. Look, grenades are throwing themselves at me. I like that the ammo and weaponry is reflected in the enemy types. So I also have a crossbow. There's a lot of damage. Oops, I missed. I tried to play with keyboard and mouse so I wouldn't miss. And then I missed. Wouldn't miss as often, I guess. Alright, so... There's an up and there's a down. Hello, gents. Ugh. I don't know if these bullets have genders. Let's not get too caught up on that. Whoa. Got a blank. Head out the left here. Kill that book. Kill that... Machine gun ghost. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I took a shot. Got a little too close. Oh, did I go missing again? Boop. Whoa. Oh, another key. Where are these keys coming from? Whoa. 
I like being able to destroy all the little decoration stuff in the room. The statues, well, piles of books, pots, you just run into them. You can also do this. Oh, I stepped back into a bullet to show that off. Gotta get rid of this guy really fast. Oh boy, oh boy! It's not always bad to see grenades coming after you because that means that if you can lure them towards other enemies, you can take out a whole lot of guys at once. There's a shop down here. I'll go off to the right first. Unfortunately, that grenade was too far away, but I really didn't want to deal with it since this room's a little more complicated than a big open space. Need to find a cool gun. Oh, he got that table flipped over. I like the guns that are the guns, the bullets that use tables as cover the way that I would. Oh, I didn't see this key. I've got so many keys and not a lot of chests showing up. Here's one. Speak of the devil and you will get. The pitchfork! Get forked. Oh, uh, the pitchfork, what's it do? Oh, it's a weapon! Semi-automatic, a favorite of fallen bulletkin who learned everything about being devils from television. That's funny, I made a devil reference and got the pitchfork. Uh, I like how my hand doesn't appear to be connected to my body in any sort of way. It's just, just holding the pitchfork. Alright, so I'll quickly teleport back to the shop and see what's in here. Oh, what is that? A scope? I might check that out because I've never seen it before. Steady aim. It's a passive item. It increases my accuracy. Makes sense. Well, why not? Uh, I should probably see how this fires. Oh, not in the shop. Don't fire in the shop. He gets mad. Oh, I like, I like it. So, there's a door to the left I haven't investigated. And it's the boss. <laughs> I guess that was the only, oh, darn, there's, let me teleport up here first. I can't leave a room unexplored. This ain't no speed run. Oh, it sets him on fire. I love that there's like status effects. And it seems to do enough damage that it takes them out in one bullet. Oh, I didn't. That might not work. Oh, it did. Okay, cool. I didn't know since it didn't make direct contact. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. And another one. Oh, what's that? A proc mine? Yep. Used to place. That might come in handy in this boss fight. Holy, I didn't see the ammo. <laughs> the reload meter of the pitchfork just goes on forever. <laughs> Could have just done that earlier. Teleport. There's no reason to walk. Oh, it's the king. Sleepy bullet king. About to give him the business with this pitchfork. Bosses seem to be a little bit more immune to status effects, but uh, that kind of makes the pitchfork not a good idea. Ah, crap! So I can fire. Oh, whoa! I can fire. Oh, shit! A lot faster. With my old gun. Ugh. Whoa! A little easier to navigate. <laughs> ah! Crap. I 
promise I've beaten a boss before. I might have to use all my blinks to ensure I don't die here, though. Because he keeps... He keeps getting a little crazy. I'd rather use all my blanks than die holding him some. Oh, crap. I got scared because I dodged in a stupid direction. Ah, oh, yes! Give me that chair. Alright, so bosses drop this special currency. There's some health. I have to say, there's another thing of health, but his chair's on the... And I got a new gun! The Witch Pistol. Spells your doom. Chance to transmogrify. It's a hex variant of the standard Magnum, a favorite of magic users seeking to become familiar with gunplay. We'll try that out. I'm curious. I've never seen this gun. The elevator shows up. And there's more to the game. You don't just die on the first floor over and over again. You come really close. Up and down, up and down. Quick little hallway. It's a little... It sounds just a little puny, but... There's a chance to transmogrify, and I really want to see what happens. So far, it hasn't happened. I haven't even killed an enemy with this thing yet. Oh, wait, there it goes. It turned a uh, bullet into a chicken. It took a long time, but that bullet's a chicken. I don't know if it, is that bullet still trying to fight me? That bullet chicken? No, it's just doing its own thing. Okay. <laughs> the chicken exploded. I was, I was like, I hope it doesn't hurt me, but I want to see what would happen. Oh, a sniper. Oh, crap. This room's a little... Okay, so that time, it turned him into a chicken faster. Whoa! I hate these cloaked dudes. They fire, like, shapes at you. Got through that room, though. My magic pistol. I like that she still twirls it, though. It's a nice touch. I don't know if all the all the characters do that. I just like watching this character twirl guns. Seems the most appropriate. So that was a quick trance. Ah! Whoa, see that's why you shouldn't dodge in the direction that, ah crap, things are going. I got another blank. Get some. Got a little bouncies are here. Chicken boys. Everyone's a chicken. You're a chicken. Oh, reload. The nice thing about reloading is if you need to reload, you can either press the R button on the keyboard, X on the Xbox 360 controller, or you can just try to shoot again. <laughs> Let up on shooting and try to shoot again, and your character will reload. Yes! And all these keys, what is this? Is this? It's a Colt. 1851, you dig? An ancient example of fine guncraft. It's been the gun of choice for many a nameless gunslinger. You can fire a lot of bullets really fast. Try that out in this next room. Oh, I found this room several times. It's like full of... It's like a tomb, but I don't know what to do with it. I can't seem to interact with anything. It must mean something. Well, it's faster to teleport back. All the little dead bullet bodies. Oh yeah, that fires. It's like a burst fire handgun. Whoa. Oops, 
reload there. I'm glad that magic bullet flinger came over to me. Oh boy. Oh, I rolled. Oh, that's awful. Getting hit from off screen by fast looking bullets. I was looking at the laser. Uh, Sparat, why? But that's pretty much what Gungeon's like. It's. You gotta be on your toes, and it's a little hard to pay attention to stuff when you're. Uh, let me pick the Marine here, but I'm gonna show off a little room. It, it's kind of hard to pay full attention when I'm showing things off and talking about stuff. I'll get better at that, though. I hope to stream some of this. So, I found these people. Dude has a fake face on. My arm was caught in the shifting walls below. Uh, I see you are missing an arm. But, uh, as you beat bosses, you get this special currency. And this currency can be used in this shop after you, you save these fine people. To unlock items to randomly appear into the gungeon. So that's rocket-powered bullets. An RPG. I've got five. Should I just buy that? Heart bottle might be good, though. I might actually go heart bottle... Um, maybe I can look at what that does. It might be a little hard to find since I didn't actually unlock it. Oh, the heart bottle was joining the shootout. It's an item, I believe. That's a friendship cookie. So the heart bottle... This list is long. Oh, this tells me what this is. Hegemony credit. Except it galaxy-wide. That's an interesting one little tidbit there. Number two. So the, maybe the heart bottle isn't, whoops, maybe it's not actually listed in that tab. It could be, what was I, it seems like it considered an item. It's not a gun. It's not an enemy. It's not a boss. <laughs> Rapid fire raptor. Okay, well, I actually want to save up for the RPG, so I won't <laughs> buy the carbine, but you are now ready to enter the gungeon. I'm BG Radio. If you've enjoyed this, there's other game curiouses out there, and if you've enjoyed Enter the Gungeon, I highly recommend this so far. I've been playing it all day. This game's amazing. It's everything I could have hoped for. That's my game curious for Enter the Gungeon. It's a mixture of Binding of Isaac and Nuclear Throne. It's missing some qualities that kind of make it more like Spelunky in terms of having like a daily run or leaderboards to come back to, but this is instantly addictive for me. I love the variety of guns, items, and enemies. I love the little bullet enemies. And kicking the tables is beneficial to you, but it's also just fun. When a room is cleared and there's tables that haven't been kicked over yet, as you run by kicking a table over, it's like that little thing. I play The Division right now, and closing car doors, I said, is like not useful in any sort of way, but for some reason, the fact that your character will do it. Kicking the tables is Enter the Gungeon's closing a car door. Just it's a lot more useful. <laughs> I think I'll be playing this off and on for the rest of the year. It might be tough. Like I've only gotten to the third floor and I imagine even if I get to the final floor, I beat the gungeon once, I'm going to come back and try to do it again because each run's going to be different. The boss variety is going to be different. There's going to be guns left to unlock, items left to buy. There's that shop where you can go and spend your boss credits to get new items into the gungeon. It, it's, it's got a lot of hooks that are just gonna bring me back. I kinda hope that they come back and revisit it, they patch it, they put out some DLC because you throw an arcade mode or some daily runs in there. I could see myself, you know, just kinda sitting back on a Sunday afternoon and thinking, I, I wanna go for the, the daily, I wanna practice for the daily. This is what I did with Spelunky. I just like, for a little bit of time, I was really addicted to doing dailies. I recommend Enter the Gungeon. Plain and simple. 
It's the kind of game I expect from a publisher like Devolver Digital. I expect it to be fun. It's all about fun first, fun gameplay, fun characters. Really kind of retro-y, but modern graphics. It's the kind of game that's just really for people who are fans of the the indie scene right now. The indie scene's continuing to blow up. I think it's still a steamroller that's just crushing some of the the triple A's that come out. And the triple A's aren't bad. They're not going down in quality. It's just indie games are picking up the slack, that excitement that I'm kind of not having for uh, my console titles. And this is playable on a console too, but the indie games are just, they're just doing fun stuff. They're all about fun and they're trying new things. If you love one more run, like one more time, one more time, this run will be the run, and then it's not the run, and then you're like, the next one will be the run. This is an easy purchase. This is an easy recommendation. Uh, I'm BG Radio. Enter the Gungeon is available now on PC and PS4. Highly recommend it. Check it out. If you don't enjoy little bullets with little happy faces coming at you with guns, I don't know what kind of person you are. Yeah, we're, we're on two different levels. You're you're welcome to that. But enter the Gungeon. Thumbs up for me. Five stars. No, we don't do ratings. And the Gudge is just fun. Uh, I'll catch you next time. I look forward to the next Game Curious. Hope you come back and watch that one too. Take care.